Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. As always, I'm glad I'm here. I don't take any day for granted. So it is good to be able to connect with you in any way we can. Today's date is Sunday, June 26, 2022. And I want to guide us down a bit of a rabbit trail, see if we can take point A and point B and see if the tarot cards tell us they should be blended or not. Um, so let's see, first of all, what I wanted to share with you. This is from a site that I've started checking fairly regularly. Um, it seems to be a good aggregate of links and um, truth seeker websites, as well as for those who are on a uh, spiritual journey or blending the two as I am <laughs> these days, uh, roserambles.org. And there was a uh, very good article here that she had posted from someone on Telegram, White Rabbit's Army. And uh, the title is This Card Defined. Um, the blank card is very, very close to being played. So thought it was a good article, thought I'd I'd point you that way if you haven't discovered her in your own search for sites and information. Um, and uh, not saying I'm endorsing everything that goes up there. I'm just saying that I'm finding some things that are interesting or that make me think, or that seem to be linking to things I was already, you know, finding on my own. Um, so just, just another source out there. If it resonates with you, use it, okay? All right. So, hmm, that tea card's almost ready to be played, huh? Well, last night, our 45 had a rally that was cut short by weather. And we know that weather can be manipulated by man. And it seems a little odd with uh, the forecasting capabilities that we have for weather, that that wouldn't have been seen and known and um, they wouldn't have rescheduled before they started. So it, it cropped up very, very quickly. Um, and what I wanted to do was <laughs> ask the cards tonight if that sudden storm that caused the early closure of yesterday's rally, was it man-made? Can the cards tell us by whom, which side of the extremes, if so? And uh, then depending on the side, is it telling us something? Because folks, a lot of us are waiting to hear that phrase, the storm is upon us, but we know also that for a storm to be upon us, it has to build. And yesterday one built very, very quickly. So was it a weather cop to tell awake and aware patriots that uh, the storm is building? The storm is building quickly. So let's see, it may have been a dark cat trying to stop some people from uh, getting uplifted and having a, a good time because when you're with like, minded energy. It's fantastic. Um, so let's see what the cards have to say about that and see if Rabbit Trail 1, about that card being played soon, <laughs> and Rabbit Trail 2, my, uh, my wondering about the, uh, the weather incident, if they come together in any sort of way, because the cards will tell us. One second, let's go to them. Card one is the five of cups, four of cups, strength, nine of wands, the emperor, page of cups, queen of wands. Okay, so the situation was a bit disappointing for those who were hoping to see 45 speak or someone representing him because we know that that is, can happen to, to keep him safe. We can't always know where and when the original real version will show up. Um, but there's also this card as a beautiful reminder 
that even if not everything has been going our way, some things are. We have had two very big wins in the last couple of days, I think more, okay? We had the Supreme Court rule um, about gun laws and gun rights. We had the Supreme Court rule about uh, Roe versus Wade. We had a, um, a shenanigans donkey, if you can figure out what I'm trying to say there, arrested in Texas. And thank you for the Texas AG. Um, I love when someone in public office grows a pair or has a pair and uses them. Okay, I know sometimes I surprise you guys by how I talk and I'm a grandma, but don't make your assumptions about what I'm pos what's possible with me. Um, color your expectations. Okay, so this is a time of reevaluation and uh, definitely, definitely for us. So the situation's clarified that even if we felt like there was some disappointment and people also remember, I mean, there are trolls being paid to come in and talk about how disappointed they are and get our energy redirected. Don't buy into it, okay? Remember the wins, remember where we're headed and that this is for humanity, not just a country, okay? It's, it's for our whole existence and where we're going, okay? Now, where are we going? <laughs> Wherever we're going, we're going there with strength. The strength card is really self-explanatory except it's a very loving, infinite energy and, um, when that shows up, especially as past, present, and future, it's good things. It's aspecting well on this. Um, the Nine of Wands is about some defeat. And the defeat has not been for Cabal members, not at all. We're using our strength, bringing all of this hooey to an end. And the Emperor, which is my Mr. T card, is showing up in the near future. Couldn't be very well more better aspected if we tried. Page of Cups, be watching for some pleasant surprises coming up, okay? And uh, the Queen of Wands, which is an optimism card. <laughs> so it doesn't get much better than this, folks. If that weather was manipulated, and I have a feeling it was, um, or if not, the universe has given us a thumbs up to view it as, yeah, the storm is building. Soon the storm will be upon us. As we know, we have some divine off-world future self, however you're comfortable thinking of it, energy that is assisting in this whole process. And that's why nothing can stop what is coming. It's not just man versus man. It's the path of humanity getting corrected. And we have a lot less to worry about than we think we do. No, we're not home free. And I sometimes liken the deep state to that bully that when I was teaching, I'd have to send to the office. Didn't happen very often. I could usually handle everything in my classroom. Okay. But uh, got a lot less to worry than we think we do. We're, we're very close, very close. So good things are happening. All right. We got the high priestess here and the hierophant. It's acknowledging that what, what we are fighting, this is our deep state card. Okay. We are fighting them and the battles are still happening, but the outcome is determined. I truly believe that. I hope you do too. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it. I'd love if you subscribed and if you wanna hang around for a minute, I'm going to do just a little personal afterward with you. Thank you so much. Your time is precious and I do appreciate that you spend it with me. Okay, here's my afterword. Sometimes I want you to know me a little more um, and, and because I wanna be really candid and transparent and authentic. And so one of the things I felt like I needed to share with you today is that I am a Vietnam era veteran. Now, don't get all impressed. I was just a weekend warrior and it was for one enlistment. But I'm very proud that even in a small way I served to this day, I'm patriotic and I love my country. However, I have absolutely zero confidence, trust, or nor will I ever endorse our current political party systems. I'm a, an active voter, but a non-affiliated one. And so, yes, I tend to vote conservative, but I do not vote by party and I do not like the party system. And I just thought I'd put that out there so you know a little more about me, me directly, okay? 
All right. Well, anyway, when I do the card readings or share my opinions, if they resonate with you, I do appreciate it that you spend some time with me, like I said before. And whether you continue to do so, that's always your free choice. I hope you do. And I'm glad you're here. And I send you my love and all the best wishes in the world. Okay. Keep smiling. Evil hates when we're happy. So why not? <laughs> Let's be happy. Bye.